time for us to hit the road. It's back to the railway station, which is high up at El Alto. This was where we arrived by train and is the departure point for today's excursion to Guaki on Lake Titicaca. OK, so the line is as good as closed, but these people would be here even if the trains ran regularly. The locals don't like having their pictures taken, but we were able to take some of the very distinctive costumes from the train. It looks like a car boot sale without the cars. Some of the stalls overhung the track and were pulled back as we squeezed by. About half an hour's ride away we reach a junction where we make an operational stop. This is the junction for the line to La Paz, now completely closed beyond El Alto, Arica on the coast, Oruro to the south, and Guaki, today's destination, at the end of Lake Titicaca. The journey is pretty bumpy as we trundle across the Altiplano. And here we are approaching Guaki. Ian, our guide, wakes up to contribute a little. The engine shed has a selection of decaying steam locos inside, which are supposedly part of the National Reserve. It's midday and lunch is being prepared. We are 96 kilometres from La Paz at an altitude of 3,810 metres. That's 12,600 feet. These days, Guaki only sees two trains a week that coincide with the ferry from Peru. Grain is one of the major shipments. The place is like a ghost town. The channel leads directly to Lake Titicaca and this is where the ferry will come in. What a strange place, men in a boat doing the washing. These men are making mud bricks that have been made the same way for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. we set off to find the lake. From here we can see the reed beds which are typical of much of the lakeside. There is an abundance of bird life. Typical boat sails gently past. We feel like we've travelled back in time. Titicaca is 130 miles long and forms the border between Bolivia and Peru. At 12,666 feet above sea level, it's the highest commercially navigable lake in the world. The first signs of the ferry prompt a little action from this sleepy port.
the shunting's being done purely using manpower. Incredible. This train ferry runs twice a week carrying railway wagons from Cuno in Peru. Since the gauge is different from that of Bolivia, the wagons are not offloaded here. The grain cargo is transferred with large pumps that suck the grain from the wagons on the ferry and pump it into waiting wagons on the quayside. Suddenly it's all hands to the pumps and Guaki comes to life. Thank <laughs> you. 